Hi, I found this video recently called Create Artificial Life with a Few Rules, um, Simulation and Code. It's by Brain XYZ. You should check it out. It's actually pretty interesting, along with this guy's channel. But he was simulating particles in space that have different rules of gravity um, with other types of particles. And by type, it's just the color type. Um, as you can see, he has all the rules set right here. But basically, there's red particles, and the red particles, they'll move away from other colors um, based on a force of gravity and once you throw in a bunch of different types of particles you set a bunch of different rules it creates a cool simulation and it's something you can play around with I decided to code it myself it's written in C++ um, using the SDL library SDL2 library for generating the actual graphics I'll quickly jump in the code and try to explain it the code isn't fully optimized um, if you were to actually run the code yourself, it might not um, run as fast. But because of that, whenever I compile it, uh, so that's really high. I just had the number up there high. It doesn't even need to be that high. But I was kind of compiling it um, to be optimized. So it could speed up a little bit faster. Um, but yeah, jumping in, I can kind of just show off some of the stuff. The first thing I do is initialize some particles, and the particle is just the x and y coordinate and a color. So it does that, and it has a vector which stores all the particles um, for all the colors. So this is the green particles, the blue, the red, and the white particles. So it stores them all in there. Um, the vector is pointers to all of these individual particles. And there's also a whole entire vector that has stores the pointers to all of the particles. So these ones are stored within their own vector, but they're also stored in a vector that stores everything. And then we also have our rule set being updated. I actually have it every 500 ticks or 500 frames. I have it switched between two different rule sets, so once we look at it, we can actually see that going. But here's the first rule set. It basically just says the green particles have a force of negative 0.32 against the other green particles. So anytime that they're by side, beside each other, they'll move a little bit closer to each other. And it's basically just all the rules are just set like this. What this color does to this color. And so this is where it's not fully optimized. Um, you just see I just have two for loops once you add a, a bunch of particles. That's, it's a little too slow, but I loop through the first particle loop through the second particle and this is basically the same code a similar code that he shared in his video um, he had initially done it in JavaScript I believe but I loop through that and then I find the distance um, using I guess a uh, is it Pythagorean theorem um, find the distance uh, between the two points basically and between those two based on the distance and based on the gravity that's passed in we're calculating the velocity of those particles and we also just make sure that the particles remain within the screen but it's as simple as that uh, here is that in it in it that we did earlier we create the group and we just loop through the quantity size we set the color and then we set the coordinates we push it into the group and we also push that into the particle list they're all just pointers so if you look at an individual index in the group um, the blue group and you change something the same pointer will change wherever that is in the particles as well that way everything works together so it's already built we can go ahead and run it it'll go full screen so because it's going full screen it'll take a split second and here we have it so there's two rules as I was showing um, that is testing between uh, it's kind of hard to actually explain all the rules but I mean you can actually see as it's happening um, some certain colors follow certain colors and some colors try to escape from other colors But yeah, it's pretty interesting because you can just test out different rules and try to see what kind of world it simulates You can create different amount of particles Maybe you want to have more of one color as you can see there right now the rule set actually just switch to the other one This one's a pretty interesting one to watch as well but Yeah, I'm just gonna leave this running for a bit. This is everything in the video I'll eventually have this code shared. I want to have it actually optimized, so it, when you compile it, that's not what needs to optimize it, but the code itself is optimized. And I'll have the other video linked in the description. You guys can check that out. But thanks for watching, and hopefully you enjoy the rest of the video.